Hi guys! Good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about transforming each of the following equations into a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And then later on, we will find the value of a, b, and c. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 2 of our video. Feel free to see the link in the description down below. With regards to the part 1 of our video class, those are basic samples of equations. And then we transform it into the general form, this one, this ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. This is actually the general form class of quadratic equation. So just see the link in the description down below with regards to the part 1. Now for this one class, this is quite tricky since we're dealing with fractions with rational equations. So the thing that we will do is we need to eliminate the denominators okay, for us to answer this one easily. And we need to find the LCM, the least common multiple. Alright, so without further ado, let's do it. Let's answer number 1. 2x squared over 5 plus 5x over 4 equals 3. Of course, for 3 here, the numerator 3 understood that there is a denominator of 1. So any number, you can put denominator of 1 because 3 over 1 is actually the same with 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3. Or you can put 3 or 3 over 1. That's the same. Now you need to find the least common multiple of 5, 4, and 1. Now, since 1, we can use any number. You can divide it by 1. So, we will just find the LCM of 5 and 4, the least common multiples of 5 and 4. Now, during your elementary years, so we will just ignore one class because you can divide 4 by 1. You can divide 5 by 1. Any number, you can divide it by 1. So, we will just be ignoring this one. So, we find the LCM of 5 and 4. Now, during your elementary years, if the teacher will ask you to find, okay, to, to get the multiples of 5, you will do it like this, right? Multiples of 5, you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. So, 5, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20. So, those are multiples of 5. Multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. So, those are multiples of 5. Multiples of 4, you have 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. So, multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. So, what would be the least number that is common for 5 and 4? So, you check plus common number for 5 and 4. Of course, that would be 20, right? So, the LCM of 5 and 4, that is 20. But it will take time, class, if you do it this way. So, it will take time to, if you do it this way. So, the thing that you will do, you will think of a number. You think of a number, what would be the least number that you can divide that number by 5 and 4? Of course, that would be 20, right? So, the least common multiple is 20. So, that's how you find the least common multiple, class. You, you just think of a number that you can divide that number by this given numbers, 5 and 4. Example, class. Let's write example. 3, 4, and 6. What would be the LCM of 3, 4, and 6? So you think of a number that you can divide that number by 3, 4, and 6. Of course, if we use 8, um, 8, we cannot divide it by 3. If we use 9, 9, we can divide it by 3, but 9, we cannot divide it by 4. Let's write another number. If we use 12, can we divide 12 by 3? Yep, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Can we divide 12 by 4? Yep, 3. We can divide 12 by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Can we divide 12 by 6? Yep, we can divide 12 by 6. That would be 2. So therefore, the least common multiple of 3, 4, and 6, that would be 12. So that's how you find the number class. So you find a number, the least number that you can divide this particular numbers. Alright, because if you will do it this way, it will take time. So the least number that we can divide it by 5 and 4, that would be 20. So, you distribute this one. You multiply uh, this one, this 20 on the right side of this equal sign, and this 20 on the left side of this equal sign. So you distribute, so 20 times this one, 20 times 2x squared over 5, Copy plus sign plus, then 20 times this equation, 20 times 5x over 4 equals, then this one, 3 times 20. 
Alright, so next is we can cancel this out. Check if we can divide 20 by 5. Can we divide 20 by 5? Yep, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So you just eliminated the denominators. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Or 20 divided by 5 is just simply 4. And how about this one class? Can we divide 20 by 4? Yep, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So you just eliminated the 4 on the denominator. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the remaining class will be 4 times, you still have 2x squared, plus 5 times 5x. And on the right side, so we still have 1, 3 times 20 divided by 1 is the same answer, 3 times 20 is 60, divided by 1 is 60. So I just remove one class because it will be the same answer. So 3 times 20, that would be 60. Then multiply 4 times 2x squared, that would be 8x squared. 5 times 5x, that's 25x. 5 times 5 is 25, copy x, equals 60. So check if this has already been arranged. Now, this is not yet arranged since we need to follow this format. So, all equations will be on the left side of this equal sign. So, we transpose the 60 from right to left. So, this will be 8x squared plus 25x. This is positive. Once you transfer an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. This is positive 60. It will be negative 60 equals 0. Alright, so that's your answer class. So, check if we can reduce. If we can reduce, always reduce the fraction to the lowest term. Or the equation, since we're dealing with equations, always reduce the equations to the lowest term. So, can we divide it by 2? Nope. We, 8, we can divide it by 2 as well as 60. But we cannot divide 2. The 25, we cannot divide it by 2. Can we divide it by 4? Yep, we can divide this 1 by 4 and also 60, but we cannot divide it by 4, this 25. So, therefore, this will be our final answer. Alright, so our A, so our A here... Our a is beside 8, or no, sorry, beside x squared. So our a is beside x squared. So a is, check the equation class, a is beside x squared. So our a is 8. Our b is beside x, 25. And our c is the number, the last term, negative 60. Alright, so this will be our answer class for number 1. You pause the video, and that will be your answer for number 1. Alright, easy, right? So that's the thing that you will do. You just find the LCM. So let me erase this one. You pause the video for number one. This will be our answer. Alright, let's try number two. 2 over t plus 7 equals negative 3t over 2. So once again, this whole number 7, you can put 1, denominator of 1, or you can actually put 1 or not. That's actually the same class. So let's just put 1 for us not to be confused. So the denominator of 7 is 1. So what would be the LCM of t, 1, and 2? Now we will just be ignoring 1 because any number you can divide it by 1. Okay, because 2 you can divide it by 1 and t you can divide it by 1. So what would be the least number that... That is common for t, 1, and 2. Of course, for 2 and 1, the number, it should be 2. Because 2, you can divide it by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 2 divided by 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2. We cannot use 1 because because 1 divided by 2, you will get a decimal answer. So therefore, the least number that you can divide it by 1 and 2, that would be 2. So we will choose 2. Now, since we have t, Okay, since we have t, we will be using 2t. Alright, because we can divide 2t by t. Alright, so once again, since we have t, for the numbers, we can use 2 for 2 and 1. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 2 divided by 1 is 2. We cannot use 1 plus because 1 divided by 2, you will get a decimal answer. So we will be using 2. But since we have t, okay, since we have t, so we need to use 2t. Because 2t divided by t, we can eliminate t, and the answer is 2. Alright, or just simply multiply class. t times 1 is t times 2, that would be 2t. 
So, the LCM is 2T. Alright. So, let's distribute this one. So, this will be 2T times this equation, 2 over T, plus, copy plus sign, then 2T times this equation, 7 over 1 or 7. Okay, let's just put 7 over 1 equals negative 3, okay, or 2T. Let's have 2T first. 2T times negative 3T over 2. Alright, check if we can cancel this one. Yep, we can cancel T. T divided by T is 1. So, we can cancel T. So, the remaining will be 2 times. So, we still have 2 and 2. 2 times 2. Plus, so 2T divided by 1 is 2T. So, you can just simply multiply this one class. 2T times 7. That's 14. Uh, for, sorry, 2T times 7. That would be. So, this one, that would be 2T times 7. That's 14T equals so 2t and 2 can we divide 2 2 and 2 yep we can divide 2 and 2 so we can eliminate 2 so the remaining will be t times negative 3t okay so understood plus that 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we still have 1 here 1 times negative 3 that's negative 3 t times t that's t squared Alright, so this will be simplify this one first. This will be 4 plus 14t equals negative 3t squared. Now, we distrib we transpose this 3t from right to left. This is negative. It will be positive. So, this will be, this one comes first class. This negative 3t comes first before this equation. Always follow the format. x squared or the quadratic term comes first. The variable with the exponent of 2 comes first quadratic term. So, this is negative. Once we transfer an equation from this equal sign, we change the sign. This will be positive 3t squared. And this one, do not change the sign because this is already on the left side of this equal sign. So, simply copy. 14t comes first before 4. Positive 14t and positive 4 equals 0. So, this will be your equation now. And your a is... So, your A is beside T squared, the quadratic term. Your A is 3, your B is 14, and your C is 4. Alright, so this will be our answer class for number 2. Alright, that's our answer for number 2. So, you pause the video, and that will be your answer for number 2. Alright, so let me erase this one, and let's have number 3, the last one. Then later on, class, I will give you an ex I will give you an assignment. You try this. You try the the assignment, class. Check if you really understand this one. You try to answer this one, class. Your assignment later on. I will give it to you. So last number six over x plus five plus x minus five over two equals three. Or you can put three over one. So we will just ignore one, class, because you can divide any number by one. So we will just ignore one here. So, what would be the, the LCD of x plus, x plus 5 and 2? Now, if you have this given example class, x, x, and f x plus 5 and 2, or you have this equation, which is binomial, and the other one is just one term for the, L for the fraction class. So, okay, let's try number 3, x plus 5. Uh, sorry, let's try number 3, 6 over x plus 5. Alright, so let's try number 3, 6 over x plus 5 plus x minus 5 over 2 equals 3. So the thing that you will do, class, is we need to find the LCM of x, of x plus 5 and 2. So for 3, we just ignore 1 because any number you can divide it by 1. I will just not put 1, class, on the denominator for 3. So we will be looking the LCM for x plus 5 and 2. So, for x plus 5 and 2, if you have this kind of equation, given sample, so you just simply copy class x plus 5 and 2. So, copy this one. You just copy this equation class. So, our LCM, that would be x plus 5 and the other one is 2 times 2. So, x plus 5 and the other one is 2. So, you have 2 
LCM, x plus 5, n2, because this is binomial class. It will be quite tricky if you multiply this one. So just simply copy, okay, simply copy the, the denominators, x plus 5, n2. Alright, then simplify, distribute this one. So this will be x plus 5, quantity, then another 2, multiplied by 6 over x plus 5. The other one, plus, copy plus sign, x plus 5 times, okay, x plus 5 times, do not forget the plus sign, times 2, then multiply this one, x minus 5 over 2, equals, so last part, that would be 3, so we don't have enough space, 3 times x plus 5, times 2. Alright, so simplify. Can we cancel x plus 5? Yep, we can cancel x plus 5. So cancel this out. So the remaining will be 2 times 6. Right? 2 times 6. We still have 2 and 6. So 2 times 6 plus, can we cancel 2? Yep, we can cancel 2. So you can cancel this out, 2. So we have x plus 5 and another x plus 5. So x plus 5 times x plus 5. Equals, so this one, you can multiply 3 and 2 first. So 3 times 2, so you multiply this one first class so that you will not be confused. 3 times 2, that would be 6 times x plus 5. Alright, then simplify. 2 times 2, 2 times 6 is, is 12. So 2 times 6 is 12. Then this one class is we can use the FOIL method. For x plus x plus 5 times x minus 5. So, I think I'll be erasing this one class. You pause the video. We'll be erasing the upper part. So, this will be, we use the FOIL method. x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 5. So, use the FOIL method first, outer, inner, last. So, first, x times x. That would be x squared. Outer, x times negative 5, that's negative 5x. Inner, 5 times positive x, that's positive 5x. Last, ne positive 5 times negative 5, that's negative 25. So combine like terms, since we can eliminate this one, negative 5 plus 5, that is 0. So eliminate this one, so the remaining will be x squared minus 25. So this will be, this one will be plus x squared minus 25, then distribute this one, equals 6 times x is 6x, six, 6 times 5, that's positive 30. Then transpose this equation from right to left, so that all of the equations will be on the left side. So this will be x squared comes first, so x squared, then the variable x, the linear term, so this is positive 6x, it will be negative 6x. Then, this one, copy 12, positive 12, this is minus, 30, minus 25, and this 30, this is positive, you transpose this one. So, we transfer, once again, copy x squared, we transfer the linear term, the 6x, this is positive, it will be negative. We copy 12 for the number, we copy negative 25, and we copy 30. So, this is positive, it will be negative 30, equals 0. Alright, so combine this one. So 12 minus 25 minus 30. So this will be so this will be x squared minus 6x. So combine this one class. So neg positive 12 minus 25, that would be negative 13. If the signs are not the same, subtract then copy the sign of the larger number. So positive 12 minus 35, that's negative 13. So 25 minus 12, that's 13. Then since 25 is greater than 12, so we have negative 13. Rules in integers class, if the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. Then minus 30, we still have minus 30 equals 0. So we need to combine this one, negative 13 or minus, ne negative 13 minus 30 or negative and negative. So simply copy negative sign, then add this number. So this will be... Our final answer will be, so once again class, if you have these numbers, 
So negative and negative or minus 13 and minus 30. Just simply copy the negative sign then add the numbers. That's the rule there. If you have negative 5 and negative 7 or negative 5 minus 7, you would just simply copy negative sign then add the numbers. That would be negative 12. So this one, this will be add the numbers 13 plus 30, that's 43. Then copy negative sign. So our final answer will be x squared minus 6x minus 43 equals 0. So our A, beside x squared, understood that there's 1 here. Our A is 1, our B is negative 6, and our C is negative 43. Alright, so that's it. That's the answer for number. That's the answer class for number. Okay. That's the answer for number 3. So you try this one class. You try this. Alright, you try this one. So you pause the video for number 3. You try this one class, 3 over x plus x minus 1 equals 4 over 2x. You try this one and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Okay, what's the general form of this one? And find the a, find the value of a, b, and c. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe as you share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help them. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.